Hi, in this video today I'm going to show you how you can repressurize your Worcester boiler. This is a 25i, a Green Star i. I believe the same process works for a 30i as well. I've only done this once before, but I remember it being quite easy. So, apparently there should be a little cover that goes underneath here. I think some of them just unclip from here, but on this one it's not here. You might be thinking that there should be some filler loop somewhere. Well, it's actually included here, and you can see it goes in between the cold feed here and I think it might be the, uh, I think it's the return it goes in between. So it's built into here. So you need to find a little key. You can buy these keys if you've lost it off places like uh, eBay. And they're not expensive, they're about four or five pounds. I believe it should fit in the little cover here, but I haven't got the cover on this one. But anyway, what you need to do is have a look here. Can you see that there's a little arrow just here and here? So it doesn't matter which way round you put it, but you need to put that arrow to the unlock padlock here. Now, if you have a very close look here, you will see that we have a padlock and an unlock padlock. The one on the left is unlock and the one on the right is lock. So we're gonna line it up like so with the arrow going to the unlock and we need to push it as hard to get in. You need to keep going. I'm just gonna get somebody else to film this bit because that's not in yet. If it's just turning willy-nilly like this all the way around, you know it's not in. So let me just get someone else to hold the camera. Right, okay, so arrow on the unlock and I'm gonna wiggle it. There you go. Did you see it kind of went home? Now, if it just goes an eighth of a turn to the padlock here, then we know we're okay. Perfect, you can see I can't go any more in either direction. So now you've got it in that position there where you've got an eighth of a turn. We're now gonna put it to the lock position. Now I just wanna show you the pressure on this boiler so we can see it going up. You can see that we're just about in the red there. So we don't need to put much in. To get water into it, we're gonna be turning this knob here, which is next to the key, we're gonna be turning it counterclockwise, so anti-clockwise, so we're going towards the back of the boiler, yeah? But before we do all that, I am just gonna turn the boiler off, like so. Right, so now I'm gonna start turning this, and you should hear water then coming from the cold here into the return here. So it's starting to turn, starting to turn. There you go, can you hear it? Now let's look at the pressure, and hopefully the pressure should start to go up. I've only turned it a tiny bit, so it's gonna be very slow. Right, I can't really see that moving, so I'm just gonna do it a little bit more. I'm gonna to go to one and a half bar. I think there's a leak somewhere in this property. But I'm just gonna turn it a little bit more. Now you can see it's starting to move up. Right, so we're nearly halfway now. So let's come back to here. And now I'm gonna turn it clockwise. There, and you can see how much I've turned it. I can hear now it's shut off. There we go. And now I'm gonna go from the locked position to the unlocked position, and I'm gonna get a cloth when I pull it out. There will be a bit of water that will come out. Now, if you don't insert this key properly, then water will come flying out of here. So make sure that you've only got an eighth of a turn from the unlock to the lock position. I've got my cloth ready, and I'm just gonna keep it on the unlock position and take it out. It's very slick to get out, there we go. And you can see a little bit of water's come on my hand, and there will be a few drips. So obviously if there's anything important underneath, make sure you have a bucket or a rag or something to mop it up. And there, that is it. You can then put this in a safe place or put it back in the cover at the bottom if you have that. And your boiler is now pressurized. So if we go back up here, you can see now we've gone from just below one bar to about one and a half bars there. We're safely in the green. And now I'm just gonna turn the boiler back on and everything should come back to life again. So hopefully if your problem was low pressure, maybe it might be fixed now. But remember, what's caused the low pressure? There might be a little weep somewhere that over time is causing the pressure to go maybe on one of the radiators or something, so it may need looking into. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and thank you so much for watching.